Hi everyone, welcome to another Civil 3D episode. So on today's episode, I am going to show you guys how to create cross sections from Civil 3D. So as soon as you are done um, designing your road, you have your horizontal profile, your vertical profile. Now you need to give a contractor on site data in order for, the, for them to be able to set out your road. So you'll give uh, long sections, you'll give cross sections, and you're also giving uh, you also give out setting out table. So on today's episode, I'm only going to focus on cross sections. Alrighty, um, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you are going to do, you'll come under the sections tab. You click on it. This is what is going to appear, and you say create sample lines. So it's going to say select an, an alignment or press enter key to select from list. So in our case, we only have one alignment, but if we had multiple alignment, we were just going to press enter. I'm going to press enter. And in our case, we only have road A, but if you had multiple alignments, you are going to press enter and go to the alignment that you want to create sample lines from. So we're going to click on road A and say, okay. This is the page that is going to come up next. So basically, it's just asking you that we want to work in meters. So I'm just going to change that to meters. It's basically asking you here, it's are you going to work in kilometers or meters? Uh, it's, ask, it's telling you which layer it's going to put the sample lines and the data source. So we have our natural ground level and our corridor. So you just say OK. And... It says specify station along baseline. We don't want to specify station. We want to have a sample line every 20, 20 meter interval. So we're going to come under this tab. I don't know. It looks like a cross. It says sample line creation tool. You just drop down on it. Instead of saying at a station, you select by range of stations. As soon as you select by range of station, this is the um, what's going to pop up and it's just asking you that the left width and the right width in this case it says it wants to make it 30 meters wide I want it to be 20 meters it to be 20 meters 20 meters and 20 meters you just say okay so now it has created sample lines um, every 20 meter interval oh I see the zero it's not there but anyway it has now created sample lines are along every 20 meter interval. As soon as it it's done, you go back under section and you say create multiple view sections. This is what's going to come up. You must select the right alignment. I'm going to leave it at um, automatic. I want it to start at zero and end where the, my road ends. And then it says you can give it a name, you can give your section view a name and call it one or whatever. And then here it's where you choose a style. Different companies use different styles um, and settings. So I am just going to choose style one that says no grid and 2.5 um, exaggeration just so that we can see it clearly in the vertical um placement so now here it's just asking you which scale you want to use i'm going to leave it at one in a thousand um if it's if it doesn't come out right i'll come back and do it one in 500 so i'm just going to say next i'm leaving this also automatic and automatic obviously the height will vary so i don't want it to be fixed because i see here you can say user specified and put 15 meters but when you say automatic it will scale all your cross um, section according to their vertical length and then i'm just gonna say next and then this is what it's telling you uh, the data that it has pulled in and what style they are going to be in and i just say next um this is your band set which band set you want to use again different companies different rules um I'll use the major offset and elevations. Uh, so EG stands for existing ground. FG stands for final ground. So obviously the contractor wants to know what is the existing ground elevation and what is the final ground elevation. So basically when you do cross sections, you're basically telling 
the contractor, the existing ground, and the final ground elevations. So you say create, and then it's going to say identify section view origin, basically where you want to put it. I'm going to put them there. And this is how my sections are looking like. You can see that this is exactly um, how our assembly looks like. So I, I'm just going to change this style into NGL. So already you can see that there will be a, a bit of cutting there. Where, where a bit of filling to come back to, to the road level. And um, existing elevation and proposed elevations don't have anything at the moment. You just right click, go to section view properties. So under section view properties, EG stands for existing ground. And therefore, under section 1 and section 2, you are supposed to select the one that says NGL, which is your existing ground. And then final ground, it's your final ground level. You come and you select your corridor level. So I'm just going to come and select corridor and you say apply and say OK. So now you can see these are the existing levels, existing ground level. So it's taking it from that blue line that represent NGL all the way to there. And then um, proposed elevation is what we are building up to, which is our corridor level. It will give only this three because it's giving where um the, the road corridor itself it's sitting um another way of doing this if you want let's say because the, the offset it's like every five meter can you see that that this is every five meter so let's say your road is not 10 meter wide in my case it's 10 meters wide that's why it gave elevation at zero elevation at five and the elevation at negative five so let's say your road is not 10 um meter wide but your road is like six meter wide so obviously it's it's only gonna have the final ground level at zero and it's gonna have it at five but it won't have it at six and seven for example so what you're going to do you are going to click on the profile view itself and then you say add um section label so it's asking you to select a section i'm gonna select that section and then it's asking you which labels you want to add. I'm going to leave it at offset and elevation and say OK. So at labels, offset labels, it says pick a point. So you are going to pick a point there, a point at the center and a point at the end. So what you're going to, to, to do, you are going to tell it which style you want this to be in. Right now, I want, um, I don't think I have a lot of styles here. I might have to import different styles and settings. If I put it at profile, okay, no. it's not making any different what I wanted to make. Uh, I put it at elevation there. Okay, I'm just going to put it at style elevation only because it's too clustered when it has offset and an elevation. But you will have to put it at offset and also elevation because the contractor will want to know that from zero, how many meters am I supposed to set out to the right and also to the left. So I'm just going to try offsets. Okay, there we go. So we're going to use the style offset and elevation. Offset and elevation. So basically, your the information that your cross-section is supposed to have. It's what I have shown you here. Your cross-section is supposed to have your, your, your existing ground level, which is what we have here. And it's also supposed to have the final road level and also um, the change and how much like I'm saying in my case my road is 10 meters so it's gonna five, be five meters to the right and five meters to the left but let's say it was seven meters or it was sitting there you'll see that it's gonna change it's gonna be 5.6 for example so if it's seven meters you offset seven meters so the contractor goes a change 340 
he put his first pack in the center because he would have given um setting our table so he knows the x and y of the road center he comes he put his pack there he offset five meters or 5.6 meters he goes at 5.6 meters and he knows that his final uh, his final road level it's supposed to be at that elevation which is 1562.999 so basically this is how you do um, multiple cross section along your road and another nice thing is that this is already your viewport so when you put it into a new drawing all that you have to do is have your viewport come to this yellow line and then you can just space them out nicely how you want to space them out and yeah voila basically this is it you can also just scale it um maybe one in a 500 just to see how they look maybe you want you see one in a 500 is better now you can see where everything is sitting and how they look so it's a matter of playing with your scale and also um how you want the style to look like but basically this is how you're supposed to do it and also what information is supposed to be projected on your cross section and um, i hope this short, short video helps you in doing your multiple cro um, cross sections uh, please 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 like subscribe and also share with other graduates who want to get a feel of um, civil 3d and until next time, bye.